Today is one of my favorite days. It's spring, we're nearing the end of the academic year, and that means one thing, undergrad research presentations. So I'm on my way down to the Scholars Week presentations that we have here at Western. Uh, these are presentations from every department. I've got two students in physics and astronomy. There are students in chemistry, biology, neuroscience, uh, there are art students summarizing their research, summarizing the projects they've been working on for months, years. This is the only chance that I have during the year, usually, to hear about what's going on in other departments. What's cool is I've also seen on campus some other presentations, so like art and design program has been printing t-shirts of designs that the students have been de developing. <laughs> One of the really fascinating things is how different scholarship looks like, how different scholarship is between different departments. And it's not just like, do you publish in journals, do you write books, do you write articles, do you go to conferences, uh, but also just the way we structure research projects, what we give students. Some people do a lot of programming, some people do a lot of design, some people are running experiments with humans and animals. Just such a, an amazing, uh, immersive range of proje projects going on. And it gets really weird to me in the humanities, uh, but that's what's really fascinating is uh, these are rigorous and fascinating uh, subjects as well. So they design their undergrad experiences totally differently. So as an educator, as a mentor, it's a really valuable thing to go see how students are getting their projects structured, what makes for a good and successful research experience for a student. I'm Allie, I'm a behavioral neuroscience major. I'm Anna Marie, and I'm also a behavioral neuroscience major. I'm Seth Novak, I'm also a behavioral neuroscience major. So our poster is called The Road to Musicianship Affects Language Along the Way, and we gave 15 non-musicians musical training for 11 days and found that their ability to discriminate small differences in voice onset time or temporal acoustic features actually improved with musical training. My name is Zach, I'm a research student here at Western Washington University, and I've been studying the variability of EK draw. Uh, my name is Matthew Scoggins, and I'm with uh, WWU's Physics and Astronomy Department, and we've been studying stellar activity cycles. Uh, I'm Zach Domingo, I'm Eric Schoner, and uh, this is our research uh, regarding crime patterns. We generated four different models, and we found that crime, uh, specifically domestic violence and alcohol crimes, uh, increase from winter to summer and decrease from summer to winter. My name is Serena and I am creating an autism-oriented dating app. My name is David Seaman and I work with the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Western Washington University where I work on developing a theoretical model of nanoparticle doped polymer film systems. Hi, my name is Freddy Tiwana and I'm in the Behavioral Neuroscience program here at Western Washington University and I study uh, neurobiology of Lyme disease. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm a statistics major at Western, and uh, my project is on short-term volatility curve predictions using singular spectrum analysis. Hi, my name is Liv. And I'm Michael. And we were testing to see if upregulating the MOX1 gene in Drosophila melanogaster increased their lifespans. And in females, the answer is yes. As with every year, that did not disappoint. So many cool posters. I spent like two hours up there just walking around and hearing people talk about their research. What an awesome experience. My one regret is that I didn't talk to the person whose poster was about coffee. Maybe next time.